recording now. We both reset because our OSSC sucks. I'm going to pause it, and then I can fast forward it. There we go. So we start in World 5. All right. So let's see how this goes. All right. We're Oh, Haxer. So I guess he missed his A press, right? And like, here I am. Look at how slow I'm going. Like, I, I was thinking I was already so far behind in this instance with that, with that death. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Not typically what you want, but it happens. Right on. Right on. All right, so we go in the pipe here. We don't have any volume because I'm I'm blocking out the commentators and I'm talking over, um, commentating on my run. So here's where a big path divergence takes place. I said to myself, I'm not going in this level. And from what I hear, Haxer decided to go into the level. So we get to see the time comparison with this. So for, for those of you at home on YouTube who don't know exactly what I'm doing right now, um, I'm trying to do the individual level strategy, which starts a small Mario in this level. And a lot of you guys know about 7-7. Seven, seven. So what I'm actually doing is I'm trying to nail what is a 7-7 seven, seven clip pretty much, but in 7-1. You thought Haxer was setting up the wrong warp? No, he wasn't setting up the wrong warp. But I I assumed that this took me pretty close to the same length of the level. I mean, look at how long the level is taking, right? If I would have nailed this clip first or second try, I would have got a full minute right at the start. So for this clip, I got worst case scenario. And this is where Haxer caught up, right? I still haven't nailed the clip. But remember, if I nailed this clip, First, third, maybe tenth. Even if I nailed it tenth try. Oh my god, he got a he got a marathon there. Ooh, so he's going for the Hammer Brothers, which is very interesting because I didn't go for the Hammer Brothers, and he got a hammer. Like that's, <laughs> wow, that's pretty good if you ask me. And then he goes for the second Hammer Brother. Yeah, getting trolled by these bros. Yeah. And a P-Wing. So right off the bat, like, it's things are not looking good for me. At all. Things are not looking good for me at all. Yup. Too late to the punch. We both go for the mushroom in this level. See what I mean? Like, I'm... Right at, right away, I'm not playing very well. But I think I, I think I do a very solid turnaround. Yep, I do the old school setup. Ooh, almost get P-Speed. So here I decide to build P-Speed, try and catch up a little bit. This ugh, Dude, I should have bounced and held up, but you don't expect him to be there. Yeah, I lost damage, so things are looking very bad for me. Now, because I'm watching it, I'm actually very interested to see where this actually plays out in my favor. Right? I have no clue. I go slow. Like, um, I'm nervous because... Uh, Haxer's technically the better randomizer player, so if I'm messing up my skill, then there's really nothing that can save me at this point. <laughs> right? Like, look at this guy! I remember this! Dude, if I stood there and waited for the mushroom, I would've got smoked. That was, a that was a 200 IQ play. And then I just keep taking damage again, dude. Look at how slow I'm going in comparison. I am, like, a full level behind right now. So not a very good start for me. Not a very good start. I don't have an item. I'm scared. But I don't know what happened there, but apparently I got that. Throw him to the left to make sure, because if I threw it in here, oh boy, that'd be bad. So I remember, as soon as I grab this, I am on track now. I'm ready to go, okay? All my crappy crap is over. I finally have a power-up. I'm good to go. I'm ready to go. So this is... I feel like this is when the race started for me. No way. We're getting Coca-Cola. We gotta get a Coca-Cola here. All right. So I catch up a little bit, but then boom, I don't. We both made the same mistake. All right. So I, because I did wall jump, 
I thought I was kind of in the lead, but I was unsure. I'm not... I don't decide this early on. Whoa, we got stuck in the thing? It, it's really hard to decide early on. I just hope that, like, he didn't do something crazy. Right? I would be done this world if I nailed that 7-1 clip first, or first couple tries. But luckily I get this. And I fell down here. When I fell down here, in my mind, I was like, okay, like, what? Like, I'm... I don't know, can't remember the last time. I can't remember the last time I did, like, I went down there. So I am a little ways behind. Since we're both in this airship, I can do a little fast forwarding right there. All right, so Haxer checks first pipe. Dude, it's so fun to watch these playbacks. I love watching this. Yep, so we both we both went to this to this pipe. Hacks are going a little slow, but he gets a fire. F Ooh, no, that's a one up. Yeah, I decided not to gamble, so we'll never, we'll never know where that pipe led. I was thinking about it, but this is definitely where I catch up a little bit. Oh yeah, I definitely catch up here. I got pixeled there. That was awesome. I got Pixel there. That was great. Oh, man. I was hoping I could hold my star. <clears throat> so, yeah. I've definitely caught up a lot. Um, I mainly caught up strictly just because of this level. Having Fire Flower, getting it on the airship. All right. So, that led there. But I didn't take that pipe. I don't think. Or, no. I definitely did. We took the same pipe. So that's what's interesting about these races. If I would have just guessed for the other pipe, I could have got a very strange lead. We so we both do the same thing. So seeing that that didn't break the lock, that makes us very happy. So we're pretty much just doing the same thing. Oh, dude, did the moon jumping Koopa happen to Haxer too? That was, like, get rid of that, Randomizer Kings. Get rid of that. <clears throat> so I want to see if Haxer did this as well. I went in there and died. I was like, I'm not doing this. So he questioned it. Right? Did Haxer go in there and die in that, that level? First, he did, because I was behind. And now that allowed me to catch up. Because I tried to gamble before I went into the level. But I go into the level still, so I'm still behind. Uh, sorry for anyone watching on YouTube. I don't mean to like spoil anything, but I won't go any further than what's already happening right now. So you don't have to worry about me uh, spoiling anything. Ooh! Hacks are getting gulped. Who called that? Somebody was in my stream earlier and was like, just watch. Hacks is going to get gulped right away. So I'm trying to die here. Right? And I'm getting stuck. I'm so frustrated right now. I'm pretty sure I yelled in my office right there. Because I was like, just die already! Jeez Louise! So I did a clutch jump here. And then this... Oh my gosh, dude! I was so scared! And look how much it catches me up, too, man. Look at how much I caught up just from not getting gulped in. That's incredible. So without the seven, without the seven one setback, um, I think so far my gameplay is a little bit better, minus the five up I just got because I suck. Oh, this level dinked me around so much. Watch. So I spawn. Look, I spawn the fire flower. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go back and get it. No, you're not. You're not getting it. Anyone else watch this and was like, wow, what a troll, dude. That was so trolly. They were definitely not lives for safety. I did not want to get that five up. All right. So I was wondering if Haxer ended up doing the Piranha Plant, but he did, and I think this gave us a hammer. But he has an extra hammer, which is incredible. So I don't know how he didn't double hammer level three. I don't know where exactly he used his hammer. Oh, no, this was a cloud. Okay, the second race was a cloud. Yeah, remember, this is best out of three. This is the first race, yep. So he got a very nice advantage there. 
even kept extra speed. That was a very good play on his part. So I'm I'm still losing. And because he has the extra hammer, I'm technically losing by over a level. 2-1. Well, I'm not mentioning it because I'm re-recording this for YouTube. So these races were awesome, so Twitch chat wanted me to do it on stream, which I don't mind doing. Fuck yeah, it's Friday, bros. All right, two hitter. I don't have chat on the YouTube video, so you guys can definitely say whatever you want. Yo, GG, Haxer. That's all I can say. I don't want to spoil anything. Two hitter, I hardly knew her. All right. So, technically, without the use of the hammer, right? So, this is what I did. And this, I was so scared here because I was making a gamble, right? I don't have a hammer, so I have to go back and do the fortress. Right? And I thought to myself, Haxer wouldn't make this gamble, so I thought maybe... This would be better in my case. However, oh, he went for it. Okay. No, he didn't. He went, oh, interesting. So he went back. I got the hammer and I went forward. So that is, and it was Fort Knox. And I had the leaf for this. Big turn here. That is a massive turn, but he still has the hammer. So in his mind, he's probably thinking if he made that gamble, he would get the hammer. Whee! But Haxer still has a hammer. So we don't know if they're useful or useless at this point. We just know that one of them was really useful in World 6. There we go. This level's so short that like the pipe extra pipe transitions barely made a difference. <laughs> yep, and then I think this, and then yeah, boom. So I was thinking to myself, if Haxer already had a hammer, that would be a really good push for him. He didn't know exactly where this led, but he knew it couldn't go anywhere else but the end. So I think when he saw this, I think he might have thought, well, if Mitch made a bad gamble, he's for sure... Look, I made that jump! That saved me so much time, dude. That saved me so much time. <laughs> but your P-Speed brought you back. Yeah, but it was one hitter anyways. So the time loss there. So a one hitter saved me the time. So this race is incredibly close. Thank you guys so much for all the subs and support. I'm just recording a YouTube video right now, so I'm going to try my best to make sure I stay focused on the commentary. But I can always get back to everything you guys do uh, once the, the recording's done. I promise. All right, so World 4, I was scared. I was like, am I doing that infamous gamble that we talked about earlier? And I saw the level, and I was like, thank God. I Even all the talk I said about the World 4 gambling... At the end of the day, I don't want to have to decide between that gamble. So I'm happy to see World 4 end up like this. This level, I hate this level so much. You got to wait for the clouds, right? Hacks are flubbing around. We're both messing movement. Like, it's just... There's a reason why this level is an auto-scroller. is because it works best as an auto-scroller. Luckily, I had the tail. I was nervous here, so I went slow. I could have just jumped right over and fluttered. But that definitely saved me a good chunk of time uh, having the tail. You see... Some levels in Randomizer, having a tail versus having fire makes it faster, but for the most part, having fire is faster. There was a lot of moments, I'm pretty sure, where we both... Because Haxer's kept onto this fire for a while now. We both got the same luck here. Troll bro. He got to kill his faster. Look at how much time he gained, right? Look at how much time he gained from the fire kill versus stomp. All right, big time save. All right. Watch this, guys. Watch, watch my death here. God, I was... I was raging, so... Killed him, great. Awesome, okay, can't die from him. Tried... Killed him! 
Look at me. I was so mad in my room. Oh my, just die. Like, that's the longest intentional death I've ever seen in my life. Like, I was trying to die on the stupid Koopas. Nice, we both did the same tech here. So I did this fortress, yep, because you can see. I did it strictly because you can see. That's the only reason. Oh, so Haxer made the better play here. Um, however, he might have forgot Fort Knox was already done. He already did Fort Knox, so there wasn't really any other fortress. Um, that a P-Wing would really help, but it, it doesn't need to be useful. It could be used for safety, too. Maybe add extras. Maybe he just uses it, right? I use the mushroom. Six fort one or six fort two yet? Ah, okay. Right on. So the P wing cost them time, unfortunately. But again, uh, it's not a bad gamble. It's not like right, dude. The crowds right now during this race must have been like, oh my god, this race is incredible. Ah, so Haxer got unlucky there with the hammer brother, whereas I didn't. So I was able to just sweep home. Uh, so I wonder, I did wonder what these items were. Oh, what a troll. Oh, we got a fire flower back, so that's good. And it P-Wing. So he got his P-Wing back. So that's not so bad. And nice fort. I didn't get, I didn't get P-Speed in this fort once. I know it, but then I didn't practice it, so then I don't know it. So I had to go slow. I was hoping for, yeah. So watch Haxer's screen. Watch him do the P-Speed. Right? So he's got the time save. Me not getting P-Speed is a clear-cut case of lack of practice. I do know it, but if I don't practice it, I'm not going to risk it. Because if I die on this level, that's a huge death. It's too scary for me. So he caught, he caught back up pretty much. Made a difference of, what, five seconds right there? What is gambling? If you have... If you have a direct path to the fortress and only one obstacle in your way that's going to get cleared by a fortress and you have two forts that you can do, well, you only have one of them that you need to do. So if you do the right one, you get to go. But if you do the wrong one, you have to do two fortresses. It's pretty much what randomize is all about. Uh, when I see World 1 like this, I know I know uh, Haxer would do the same thing, right? Um it's pretty interesting when you do these worlds and fortresses that, like, you know, you know, for more or less, we're going to get the same. We know when there's a divergence in path. We know when there's going to be a divergence. <clears throat> so because I took damage there, I said, screw it. Yep, I just went for it. So I'm interested to see what this ghost did to Haxer. Let's see. He probably get yeah, he got ghosted. But he went through and then he he probably Oh, he didn't jump. He ducked. Nice, he got it. Okay, same thing. He pre Dude, that was two frames. That had to have been two frames away, guaranteed. So we see and then I always default to mid level. I don't know why. It is closer, I guess. <clears throat> So that shot right there was so lucky, man. When I nailed that shot, I was like, okay, get a little speed here. That was pretty good. My other 1-1 one, one worked out really well. Oh, Haxer got a 2! Oh, come on! Dude, that's so cheap, man. That's so cheap. He got the shot, but he got robbed by the fire snake. All right. Uh, I can't remember how... Oh, yeah, this screwed me. Did I get P-Speed back? I did. I got peace speed back. Oh, I got it back there. And then look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That was incredible. So much crap going on. Ooh, thank you. That's fine. I'm not playing. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I'm not playing. Right on. Get out of here, cats. You're not getting any food. Thanks, babe. All right. I took all five twos slow. Uh, Sim and Bat are in here bugging me. Ah! I don't think so. Yeah, I took all five. So you... Um, well, actually, I don't want to spoil anything. Whee! Right on. All right. 
it's it's too hard to take this level slow no cats no you don't get any food yeah speed run strats in uh five two is just way too hard all right so here we don't have any clear path changes Did I mention you struggling in the fortress? I, I don't think I meant to. I'm like fighting off cats right now because I have food. Hold on one sec, guys. I'm going to get the cats out of here. Come on. Get out of here. Let's go. Come on. Dude, it's like a herd of creatures, man. There was a whole bunch of cats. It's like a wild animals. All right. Wee! Thank you very much, everyone, for the support. I'm just recording a YouTube video right now, so I will make sure I get back to everyone as soon as possible. All right, so when I went through the pipe there, I thought, okay, maybe, maybe I could go back and do a fortress and I get to skip a fortress. However, there was four fortresses in this world. Like, I've never seen that before. Or there's three, right? Right? There was three, wasn't there? Four. No, three. Wee. So I don't know. I think, yes. So Haxer also took this same path. Yeah, it makes, it honestly makes so much sense. <laughs> dude, that dodge on the boo. Oh my gosh, dude. That was so scary. That boo dodge was, was very scary. Swaggin, more like messing up and fixing it. Vax <laughs> are doing the pretty... He's probably going to... Pretty much the same thing. Oh! Oh my gosh, that's so unlucky. That's a big time swing because he has to... Nice. Very good inventory right there. So, it probably goes unnoticed when you guys are watching the race, but the inventory that Haxer did there was uh, really clutch because he knew he knew where his items were in his inventory, and that is honestly a really big thing in Randomizer. Uh, there's been so many times during these tournaments where I watch races and people literally sit in their inventory every time they open it up for like five seconds every time. And you open up your inventory probably 20 times in a race. So that's so much time lost, right? Knowing where your items are is super important. Right there. You see that? That hammer brother right there has a hammer. And I, I was forced to fight that. So that evened out our hammers right there. Our hammers evened out there. Uh, pretty much mainly from the death lack of fire flower. And I guess and taking this is, uh, that's my lead. That's pretty much my lead right now. Just his death. And then all it is, is, um, he took the spike room. So based on watching this, I would assume that he thinks he's behind because of the death. And I think that's honestly a pretty obvious uh, thought process because I would think the same thing this far into it and a level like that. So we played the level for 15 seconds, then died, then had to inventory and played again. So I would also assume that I was... Man, if he got that hammer, dude, you see that he's he would have had two hammers if he fought that hammer, brother. That's incredible. And I got Rick there. But luckily there was a star there. I will only do this level fast in Randomizer if I have good power-ups. Uh, tail, maybe. But I would have to take damage before. Then it gets kind of scary. But Fire Flower is perfect for doing this. I double check for hammers. I do not have it. Oh, I tried my anchor. I tried my anchor for hammer. Boy, wouldn't that have been clutch if my anchor worked out? 
So I'm glad I checked that too. Um, a tail there, a tail here really helps. I don't know, like watch when I do something like this, boom, you know, no doinking around there, right? And then you get to do this cool combo, except I didn't spawn the blocks fast enough. So I didn't really get, I did not mean to take damage there either. Anchor is a wild card. Yep. So hacks are pretty much doing the same thing. The fortress again, he's keeping pace with me. We're both pretty much keeping pace. All right, Fire Flower, no speed strats. I got body rubbed really hard there. So hacks are definitely catching up in the pyramid here. The pyramid and randomizer, luckily for us, is pretty vanilla -y. Oh. Oh my gosh. How did you survive that? You were so far away. That's how the game gives you luck, huh? Not with Hammer Brothers. Not with decisions, just stupid stuff like that. The game was like, here you go, buddy. When I didn't get P-Speed in this level, I was like, I was like, crap. When I didn't get P-Speed in this level, I thought, crap, because I know Haxler does go for P-Speed. And I knew that there was a power-up in the level previous. So I knew for sure he had a power-up entering this level. There was no way he couldn't have. There's no way. Hey, we both got five ups. Right on. All right, so, oh, this is so lame. Much like every level in my mind, I was thinking to myself, well, if he had double, double hammer, I lost. All right, so let's watch how Haxer does this. Goes for the dip. See what I mean? See, that's exactly what I was talking about. I knew, especially if I was behind, which I don't know if I am or not, but especially because I was behind, I, so he just gained like 10 seconds on me, probably. Probably about 10 seconds, I'd say. So it seems like in this race, we both did better platforming than the other person, just in different areas. We don't have the cloud. When I was in this level, I was wondering either if he had a cloud or if he had thought that I had a cloud. Because if I clouded, right, you got the two pipes down there, right? Luckily, so what I'm thinking right now is I want these two pipes down here to connect to each other. If they connect to each other, then that means double hammer didn't help anyone, which is good. That's what I want to see. So I got lead here. That's trash. And then guess what? Boom, it led to the other pipe. So I knew right now that if I was in the lead, I was still in the lead because double hammer wouldn't have helped. And that's pretty good. World six was left, so I knew using a P-Wing was good. Axler going right for it. He got, he got a little luckier with his hammer brothers. I was blocked, so I kind of went to the other place. So he definitely saved an additional... 15 seconds on me with all the pipe transitions I took, map movements. But my P-Wing kind of almost evened it out. Yeah, my P-Wing definitely almost evened it out right there. Went for the fire kill, but I'm pretty sure it was only a two stomp. I rage over that hitbox. Uh, no, I just chuckled because it's like, it's so stupid that that happens. It's so silly. Like, it's the game's intended design of how you destroy those enemies, and it doesn't work half the time. Alright, now we get to see the awesome World 8 routing here. So I saw that, I was like, well... Like, that's a good thing to see. I like seeing that because it's like, nobody's gonna do that level randomly, right? Who would do that? Unless Haxer does it, but I don't think he does. So then boom. When I, when that happened to me, when those two pipes connected, I was like, I was like, there's no way if I'm in the lead, Haxer can catch up from this position because the level forces anyone to go back and check. So there's no time being gained there, thankfully. So I did use a star. However, I didn't really utilize it very well, but I still kind of did. 
I knew I should have just used the star at least. Hammer suit, that was awesome. I thought maybe if hacks are clouded that level, I'd have a a benefit of hammer suit. But he had a he had fire flower, so that was pretty good for him. And it trolled him anyways, so. So I knew that one of the pipes in there was good, so I wanted to double check all these pipes. It's it's always good to double check pipes. If Haxer just goes straight to check the pipes, then he he's got it, right? Which he did he didn't. He he's gonna check first, do the same thing. So I decide to go back, right? And it's like, well, I might as well. Might as well do it. He knows there's a lot of levels, so he figures I might as well just do the level. He got a really short one too. And I took damage. I had to do this level really slow because I was kind of scared. Um so this is this that hand made it really close. I was still in the lead by a solid 40 seconds, it looked like, from all the pipe transitions. I was three pipe transitions ahead. Because you have to remember, I still know where the level is, right? I still know where Bowser's uh, keep is. Right? So even if I did the hand level, I'd already be exiting it right now. And I'd already be on this fortress. So I didn't see a lock break in this area, so I thought to myself, I might as well. I equipped a tail in case I got pulled in by the hand. Luckily, I didn't. So then I went to go check Bowser's section. I was nervous here. I was nervous. I didn't see him dot done yet, so I was like, oh my gosh. And then that worked. And uh, when you see something like that, that's very close to securing game one right there. There's not much I can go wrong in getting the clip. Bowser's not randomized, no. You get the clips, and then standard. God, I hate this clip. I was doing practice before these races, and I was, like, raging on these clips so hard. So he checks here. Knows it's a level, so he might as well go back. And then he'll be in the same position as me. So I think he sees Bowser before I dot done. He does. So he might think he's winning right at this moment. Very possible. But then the dot done. So. Definitely a GG, dude. I had to pretty much not really make many mistakes to stay in the lead. Um... Looks like I won the race by a little over a minute, and had I d made one faulty decision, um, and a little bit of luck not swinging my way. My main points of luck was a Hammer Brother moved out of my way in World 4, um, and I didn't, I didn't get grab at hands, I won two 50-50s. But other than that, I did, I did the worst routing in World 6, he did the better routing, we did the same routing in Worlds 1. In world two, in world seven. I mean, like what the what the vanilla worlds are like, the seventh world, the pipe world. So the only time we didn't do the same routing was in world six, and that's it. And I messed that routing up. So he definitely got the better routing in this run, but I had I got a little bit better luck. Good chunk of luck actually, and then I didn't die or anything. I didn't make any big mistakes. We both did we both did two hammer brothers and you did one fortress and I did I did a fortress two hammer brothers and a level and that somehow managed to almost even out Yeah, you had an extra pipe transition which my level was so short Fast forward to run 2, of course. All right, let's see. Actually, Haxar and I talked for like a solid five minutes after this match. They just waited patiently. That was awesome of them. All right. Starting world. As soon as I saw World 4, I was like, yes! We don't have to make that stupid gamble, man. We don't have to make that stupid gamble. 
Haxler just lost the lead because he probably missed an A input there. Oh, he's going for the P speed. Ah, oh, dude. You would have had such a fat lead on me if you got that. That wasn't a bad idea. I never really considered that, especially with it being the first level. I was, I just thought it was a whatever. Thank you very much, guys, for the support. Just remember, I'm uh, recording this for YouTube, so I want to make sure that I get to your guys, uh, you guys a little bit later. All right, so here was the right away, man. And this is this is what bothered me in this world is the first thing we did was a gamble. And <clears throat> I honestly guess that Haxer went to the first fort which was a bad assumption on my part, mainly because we both took damage there. It's the exact same spot. It's because it's so unlikely. I don't know why I went to attack him. I honestly should have died there. Axer did the same! <laughs> wow! That was incredible! We both did the exact same mistakes and the exact same... Nice jump, bro. Did you guys know that I play Mario? And then I was forced to fight this guy, so I was scared. Nice, man. Did you guys know that I play Mario? And now I gotta go even slower. So I'm... So I know for a fact Haxer's thinking... Screw YouTube. Thank you very much for the bits. I know Hax was thinking, if this isn't the lock, I might lose the gamble here. But he also knows that I probably wouldn't take this gamble. You have to come through this way anyway, so it's just one extra fortress. This was a very, very weird gamble. And we both obviously did the right gamble, it looks like, you know, because if we didn't, we would both do the same. So it wouldn't have made a difference in the world, right? So I'm I'm an orb orb transition behind. Well, it was a free mushroom grab from the Hammer Brother, right? This, it, there's no time loss or anything. All right, so because I died, I really needed that to be the right pipe. And again, the exact same World 4 scenario as last race, where Hammer Brother was in his way, Hammer Brother is not in my way, and he got a useless item. So that's what gave me the lead. More or less, a little bit of lead right there. That's incredible. Things, things as small as that. Now the turntables, right? Oh, what? He died on the airship? What? I missed that. Hold on. I got to rewind that. I missed that. Oh, dude. That's two times in his race so far that he's messed up the A input or frame, whatever you want to call it. Oh, we got the pog. We got the pog butt grab, guys. The pog butt grab. But I also died too, so we're like, kind of even Stevens on the deaths there. Where's my Pogzor? Oh, you guys don't see my Pog. Because it's only game feed. I, I had to put the- I turned the camera on and Pogged on the camera, but you don't see it. He did in fact die on the airship, Kappa. He did die. I went back- I went back to see. So I think I'm behind right now. I think I'm behind right now, so I didn't make any good decisions. And also, I know Haxer can speedrun this level. So I, I, was I was guessing that I was losing more time in this level. He's going to use his mushroom. Unless he goes for the power-up for safety, he, he'll, he's going to speedrun this level. Watch. Yep, he just saved a bunch of time on me. All right? Just saved a bunch of time. All right, so we hit that, and, like, why wouldn't anyone go for this strategy, right? Why wouldn't anyone do this? There we go. Oh, it was second try. Cool. So Haxer double-looked, went back to the original pipe, because you'd feel awful if you didn't check that. If you checked that pipe last, you'd feel like a, like an, like a jackass. He knows no other pipes lead over there, so he's going to join me pretty much. It's, it's the same crap. Look at how stupid this game is. We're both at a point where we're just smashing our bodies into a wall. Nice game. Yeah, unfortunately, this one took me a little bit of time. 
I knew I could save a little bit of time because I got 7-6, but apparently I didn't. We both did it second try. And that one took me like seven or eight tries, right? Dude, both of his took two tries. That's incredible. So this is a pretty big gamble. Um, number one, we... Oh my god, my strat for this level did not work. Um, number one, we know we have to do all these levels anyways, so there's no point in not doing them. And number two, we don't know if there is a bridge that needs to be unlocked. Yeah, I took this really slow. It was really bad. Yeah, so we don't know if there's a bridge that needs to be broken yet. We don't know. So it's a pretty big gamble. Let's go for the... Try to go for the peace feed there, Hack. So that's actually a pretty good strat. Big time save. So, odds are you should go to... Why, why wouldn't you go to the closest fort, right? So there's a bridge. So one of the three forts needs to be broken. Right? One of the three forts needs to be broken. Right? Anyone would go here. There's no there's no divergence in gambling here. However, I do save a good chunk of time uh, with the P-Speed in this level and having Fire Flower. Yes, definitely. Yeah, big time save for me. Um, and then, obviously, process of elimination. Go to the next closest fort. God. See, this is where somebody would have to be really, really dumb. Like, if Haxer just went back to the very first fortress and did it, he would gain the lead. But nobody would do that. I wouldn't do that. That's not like a real gamble. That's pretty... That, that's... That's not a real gamble, trust me. What we're doing is the only logical solution. Which sucks, because Haxer might be thinking, if Mitch gambled this, I lost for sure. And I'm thinking, if Haxer didn't do this, I lost for sure. But we're both doing the same thing. It's funny, the mentality behind randomizers versus what we're doing. We're inadvertently doing things that we know if it's wrong, we're going to lose. <laughs> right? So it's pretty funny. Uh, me having Fire Flower for the last three fortresses uh, is honestly just boosting me 15, 20 seconds uh, more in the lead. There's not really much you can do about that. If the game's not going to give him a fire flower, he's not getting a fire flower. There we go. Okay, so the very first fortress is what broke the lock. Or made the bridge, sorry. Again, I'm too scared to do P-Speed because I'm not really accustomed to it. So I actually lay off the D-pad right there. I intentionally remove my P-Speed. J-I-C. So Haxer should catch up by a solid 10 seconds just from that. Because it's not like, oh, look at this. Ooh, I was so close to that ball, man. Almost got a ball right in the face. Almost got a ball right in the face. So he doesn't go for the item because he knows it, if it's a leaf, it's going to frig up his P-Speed. If it's not a leaf, it doesn't matter anyways. I don't know if he thinks he's behind or not. But if you think you're behind, the better idea is to just bomb through these levels is the right idea. Essentially. So we get the music box. How many hits was it? One, two, three. Oh man, I saved like... Wow! I saved like six to seven seconds on that fire kill. Not going for the item was a mistake. I mean, you're, if it was a leaf, it would be a mistake, right? You de Oh, this level. If it was a leaf, it was a mistake. If it was a star, it'd be okay because you could damage uh, or you could speed through the flames. Yep. So I fell off. Uh, anyone wondering watching YouTube why I'm standing here? I fell off the platform and didn't go in the door. So I have to wait. For the P-Switch to be over to restore them back the blocks. And then go. And then I went all slow and scared like a, like a bitch. Okay, so I went into the second pipe. 
Axer went into the first pipe, and this is a very interesting thing. I knew he'd go in the first pipe, so I went to the second pipe, and it locked him. It locked him out. Okay, so really, he only lost maybe 15 to 20 seconds of pipe transitions. But if I made the wrong, wait, what did he? Just, where did he just go there? Oh, that's right. He could go up to the other pipe. Okay, so where did that take him? Oh, what a troll. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I, I replayed it back. My bad, guys. I'm sorry. So where did that take him? There you go. So uh, we are at a route divergence. Whoever's pipe is correct. We don't know. My pipe could, my fork could be correct. Hax's fork could be correct. The only thing that I know is that I can see a lock right now. I can see a lock. Didn't break. So I, I want to gamble there. But... We don't even know if my lock actually helped, right? We don't know if my lock did anything. So luckily we got a music box from the last level. So this is my, if this pipe took me nowhere, oh, this would be horrible. But luckily I got that. So we're kind of like evened out right now. But luckily for me, the lock that I needed broke. And he doesn't know where the other fortress is. So this is where the stupid... Fortress gambling comes into play, but he's gonna actually find it right here Because yeah, and he's got a music box too So he can actually music box beat the fortress first try and because the music box uh, puts them to sleep for two turns two levels two interactions um, So that is a good play for him He's only behind by like two pipe transitions in this world and a fortress and we don't have a music box for this unfortunately Nice level, bro. God, I hate this level so much in Rando. Look at this. Ugh. It's because I don't want to lose my power-up, right? You, you don't want to lose your power-up. All right, so we have two hammers now. Haxer actually has two hammers already. I have just got myself across two hammers here, which is a very big turn because we still have World 3 and we still have World 2. So we don't know for sure. Oh, look at that jump, man. That was so silly. I tried to land. Oh, look at this. Get this out of the game. Okay, watch this. Okay, and then where did he go? And then look at this. Get that out of the game. I'm dead serious. I am 100%. Get that out of the game. That. Horrible. I love I love how I got lucky. I love how I got lucky doing what I was supposed to do. Nice game. Nice game. So I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed that I see world two and I'm annoyed that I see those two pipes. Those two pipes lead to each other. And as soon as I enter this world, the reason I'm annoyed is because I have two hammers and the dream of using two hammers in world three is always there. Never works. I intentionally fell there to get that power up. Look how it worked out for me. Awesome. Fantastic. Oh, damn. That would have been... Oh, and then loses it. I always dream to get... Our control block, man. That's so lame. So I was forced to fight the hammer, brother. I was hoping it was a hammer. Because if it was a hammer, then I could do the things. But, of course, traditional star... And Haxer's boss was all over the place too. What jank, man. So I look at here, but I have to. Gotta use it, man. I don't have a choice. You have to use it. Sorry, my sweat, I know. You have to use the hammer, man. There's no that's like four levels I'd have to do. Look like it looked like I had to do like three levels. That was definitely a good hammer to use. But now I only have one hammer. That is Pog though. Hammer suit from there. That made me happy to see. It made me feel really good. I thought about gambling for that hammer brother, but I said to myself, you know what? You've done way too many hammer brothers. What happened there? Did you see that garbage? I was so mad at that. Ooh, if Haxer keeps his tail here, that'll be really good for the fortress. God. God. So trolly this level. Oh my God. 
Some of our levels were so crazy, dude. Well, Haxer still did that level faster than me. And he got the same outcome. He's going to look, right? There's no way he's not going to look. He knows he has a hammer. He got a worse outcome, but made it work. One extra boomerang, though, unfortunately. When he saw Sari, he was probably like, fucking star. Nice. And he got his tail back. That was... Dude, if he didn't check that... Oh, my... Oh, he gets... Th nice. So we get to see what item that was. I don't know what item that was. God, this level again is so annoying. Wee! MFP surprised. <sighs> Dude, I was so upset when that guy got me because I could do this level so much faster with the tail. If it was this, if if this item is a star, then that's two stars in this world. P wing, <laughs> star is better than a P wing. <laughs> it's not, but like it kind of is. One, two, three. Yeah, it would have been three levels we would have had to do if we didn't use a hammer there. But Haxer still has two hammers, so Pog Pog Troll, he definitely did this level a lot faster than I did. Axer did that airship way faster than I did. However, I, I nailed this 2-1, though. Nice and fast. Did pretty, pretty much speed strats. Right on. We're only on the, we're only on the fourth world right now. Well, fifth world and fourth world. You hate to see this World 5 configuration mainly because it's a fortress for a bridge and then Twisty Castle. It doesn't get any worse than that. I finally started to adapt this strategy. This is your backup world record attempt strats uh, that I never wanted to really use. It's I didn't have to learn anything. I already knew how to do it, but I never really liked using it in Randomizer. So I just said, you know what? Screw it. Might as well. And unfortunately, I didn't get a star, sadly. Unfortunately, so it seems like I might be one and a half levels ahead of Haxer right now. Yeah, it's looking like about one and a half. Well, actually two, eh, about one and a half, yeah. But he's got two hammers, man, and we haven't seen World 3 yet, so. Yes, YouTube, I'm creating suspense for you guys. I use a star. I know I have a star. Why not, dude? If you don't have P-Speed for the Twisty Castle, that's like a 20 second difference throughout the whole thing, right? So in my mind, I was like, if you got a star, Mitch, use it. You barely ever have to do the Twisty Castle, so you might as well. Yes. Oh! Look, and Haxer does it too. Ah! If he went for the middle block, he would have done it. He would have got, he would have done the P-Speed for sure. Yeah. Slight difference there. I always am so slow at this last section of the... Yo, room five in the Twisty Castle, I'm I'm the worst. I always mess it up. So I panicked here. I was like, does that lead to it? I was like, I better not fall through the sky. So I lost. I always get confused. So I lost time there, unfortunately. But it was a good play. I think Haxer did waited. So yeah, see, that's what I should do. You should wait there. Oh my god, these clutch plays, dude. And then I went for the yeah, I went for the fire. Abuse, man. Fish abuse. You thought I was brilliant for that? No way. Using that pipe strategy is just something I've seen other other runners use. Hax is going to do the exact same thing. I guarantee it. He's going to do it faster than me, too, because he knows. He knows, more, like, he's more in tune with... Ah, he used the star, too! Very clutch. I'd love to see it, man. Absolutely fantastic. Good job. One, two, I did five hits, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know how many hits he was. Yep. Haxer actually did the this uh twisty castle better than me. Because he uh Um I was unsure if the orb was gonna screw me over, so I went a little slower. Right on. Yeah, so he knew. He knew right away. He didn't even hesitate.
Yeah, my my two one and my uh, six one were a little bit better, but that's about it. I I waited. I wasted. Yo, watch this. Watch this. Okay, I nailed the jump, and then normally you have to. Oh, I got saved, dude. Normally I have to do a turn back or get like a pixel jump there, but that fish saved me. Look, I was gonna watch. I was gonna land in front of the the stairs there, right there. You see that? Oh god, I gotta watch it again, dude. That's the best save I've ever seen, really, in this game. So the fish was perfectly there, right? I was gonna land on the stairs, go all slow right here, boom. Nope. It freaking confused me, all my turnbacks and shit. Never, never seen that kind of save. Nice, I was really happy to see this level too, to be honest. Is that like you you get a level like this and it's like it's like a whatever kind of thing. <laughs> nice sprites, bro. Nice sprites. Sorry guys, I just get really excited. All right. It's so awesome seeing this as your first fortress. Dude, why does why do people want Atlantis? Haxer and I are two experienced players. So if we both get Atlantis, I I would put a thousand dollars on neither of us dying in that level. People want Atlantis because they think it's some like big game changing turn. It's not. Oh, I wanted Haxer to get it too. That's lame. Yeah, it's a beta level. This level always flubs me around too. I always get scared. That guy, man, what a troll, dude. Yeah, okay, so we did the same levels in World 1. I think Haxer might be thinking to himself, if Mitch didn't do these levels, because he knows he lucked out, because these levels are super fast and easy, right? That first level could be Atlantis, right? And that could have been a, a huge difference. And I think I've had this fi I've had this fire flower so far since six one, which in my, and to me I was pretty happy that I was keeping it because, ooh, the double kill. The longer you keep the power ups, right, the more you're not going for them. And but I wouldn't hesitate not damage boosting with the power up. I think for the most part. I don't see why you wouldn't do the damage boost for the power up, right? It doesn't make like why wouldn't you? But we haven't really needed to yet. So I was thinking Haxer's probably gonna use the cloud that we have on that level. That's like a very standard combo. You cloud the last level in world one and go. I opted not to do it in case we got a worse level. That was a poor gamble on my part. Only because um well you'll find out later why why I made that mistake. No clip there. It looks like Haxer is doing this level a little bit faster than I did. Oh, no. It's the same jump, man. That's scary, dude. That stupid Paragoon is such a troll, dude. So Haxer getting the cloud here, knowing that he used the cloud. He's going to use the cloud. So we'll never know what that level was. Or no, wait, no. I did the level. What am I talking about? Spoiler? Not really. I'm just saying that it was a mistake not to use that cloud there, right? He, Haxer had two clouds. Why wouldn't he use a cloud, right? We got one. We have one world left. Bleep it out. Stop. We're fine. All right, last world, world three. First thing I'm thinking in my head, if my opponent has two hammers, I'm super annoyed. And Haxer does have two hammers. We know that by watching. Me, I don't know that by running. But I've got a cloud, so I use the cloud. Pretty good.
unfortunately. It's just the way it is. There's no suspense there. Unless people don't watch it. I'll I'll edit it out. Don't worry, guys. I'll edit it out. Luckily, I'm a master in trained arts of editing. I can edit it out. It's easy. Yeah, just put, like, a, a game from, like, two years ago. Double hammer! He's going for it! But you see, the only difference is that he doesn't know what the pipe is, whereas I do. And it's one of those lame worlds where you have the double hammer, and it barely works. Because we end up doing the same things anyways. So I check the pipe. Hacks are doing clutch 6-4 with no P-speed. Very difficult. Because they can lag out. There's so much crap going on. So I don't use a cloud here because the pipe... I have to come back, right? So using a cloud would be useless because I don't have another cloud. No other pipe leads. I have... These levels I have to beat, which is so annoying. Extra pipe transition from Haxer only because he doesn't know where to go. That's the only reason. God, worst fortress. So, I'm going in the direction Haxer just went, but I know that I need to do this fortress. And I got locked out of using my last cloud right there, too. And I... Look, Haxer, I almost... I don't know why I didn't kill him at first. Will it still despawn the platform if I didn't kill him? Would that still despawn the platform? Because, like, I fucked that up so hard. I realized, like, five seconds in the level, I was like, oh, crap, I gotta kill this asshole. Yeah, I messed that up hardcore. Bro, look at my scan lines on my OSSC. I have no clue how to fix them. Look at them all, man. You see that? I don't know what the problem is. Maybe my OSSC is borked or something. I don't know. If it was broken, it wouldn't work, though. Maybe there's a weird setting that I activated. So he might think the pipe, but he's going to check this last one. Oh, he's not going to check it. And now he's like, ugh. This level is very vanilla-y with um, uh, speed strats. I was a little scared there because if the ghost there, I definitely would have died. Would it be my CRT? No, because the feed you're getting is not CRT feed. Right? My CRT is not going into my capture card. Look, Haxer's got it too. Look at Haxer's OSSC right now. Look at all those ugly lines, right? And look at look at his HUD system. It's the same as mine. Why is it? It's all like bright and like light and fuzzy. And then all the lines like our both of our OSCs are doing the same thing. I think we have the wrong settings or something. Ours do the exact same thing. You don't remember seeing that during the race? You definitely would have saw it because you can see it right now. All right. So on the airship going into World 8. I think I'm behind. Uh, I think I'm behind because of my early, uh, my early uh, happy accidents. I died and I fell through the coin heaven. Is that even avoidable? It has, it has nothing to do with the NES. It's the OSSC. I've switched between two other modded NESs and I've tried it on my N64 modded and my Super Nintendo modded, and I get the same things. Something's happening when the video is being fed into the OSSC and then into the capture card. So we know it's not our capture card because we both use two different capture cards. So process of elimination, it could only be the OSSC that's causing it. All right. Game three. Is it going to be magic? I don't want to spoil anything. Check the first pipe. Point of no return. I'm going back. Pick this pipe. I said, you know what? There's a fort there. Just do it. Get it done, Mitch. I thought I was in I thought I was behind though, so I figured I might as well get it done. Look at these clutch plays right here. Up! Oh, up! Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Nailed it. 
Nice. So I'm kind of nervous. I'm behind right now. I think I'm behind, right? A little wiggles. Hey, man, the rando guys make a strong point. That orb is always there to fuck you over. So I didn't see a lock break in this background. So I thought, okay, there's two extra pipes. Maybe I can get some more information. So that's what I decided to do. Okay. So I go here. Check this pipe. I can't remember exactly where this goes. Ah, uh, yes, it goes here. Then I check this pipe. I know I did it in both races, too. All right, so I see it. One bridge. I see it. It's right there. So I don't know if the first fortress I did unlocked that pipe. I don't, I don't know. But all I know is where the next fortress is. And it's back at the start. All right, so hopefully, and then it turns out to be an airship. I make you nervous when I run once in a while. Like speed runs or doing these? Dude, these make me very nervous. So Haxer opted to do the exact same uh, play as me. It is the smarter play. Um, however... I think, yeah, he did the four, yeah, he did the same thing. He didn't see the lock, so why wouldn't you go and check all the other pipes? And then, boom, he saw this. I have not dot done yet, and neither has he. So when he saw this, boom, we're both got the same kind of information. It's it's incredible how this works. Um, so this was good for me. I know that the, the other tank is guaranteed to be a fortress. So I checked that. I don't ever have to come back to this section again. However, in my mind, I feel like I've got to cross that level two. Um, so I actually made a mistake here. I made a mistake there. I went in the wrong pipe. This is bad. Because all I want to do right now is go and check. I just want to check and see if the bridge was made. That's it. That's all I want to do. So if the bridge isn't made, then I got to go back and check the other fort, which I know is a fortress. Okay, the bridge is made, and I didn't get pulled in by the hand. We got the hammer suit. Again, I still think I'm behind right now. So I'm thinking Haxer's in here. He's about to fight it. Something's happening. I didn't get the clip. Now I'm nervous. I'm like, if I, if I don't get the other clip, I don't know that Haxer's not here yet. Got the clip. Thank God. And he got pulled in by the hand, unfortunately. It's a very fast level, though, but that still doesn't justify anything. Boom, that pog. And there it is. There you have it. Uh, Haxer, Haxer doesn't know that I'm done yet, but as soon as I go through the door, he knows, he knows I'm done. Um, he doesn't know I'm done in this instance, I'm assuming, because... Unless he directly can see the dot done, if he has to turn and look, he probably won't turn and look until he gets to a safe spot, right? So if he clips right here, okay, so he's probably look he probably knows I'm done now. He probably looked there. Would make sense. Wait, what's he doing? Wait, what what oh yeah, so yeah, he probably looked, saw that I was done and said something in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I didn't have it I didn't have it open after that. I clicked on other things. Dude, two incredible races, man. Like I said before, uh for all you YouTube guys out there who didn't catch um my stream or anything, uh this race was incredibly close. Hacks are always uh forces me to play at my absolute best. So, if you ever so if he beats me, it's the most rewarded win because I played the best that I possibly could. Um, the other thing too is I made one or two, um, worse gambles that still ended up paying off like world six. That was, I made the bad play, but it turned out to be the better play in world six, I think in the first race. Um, and I got lucky with hammer brothers, not being in my way, especially when they were useful. And then I got lucky again by the hands. And then I got lucky with Haxer getting an extra hammer in one of the races that ended up being useless, which it, 
could have saved him like four minutes if double hammer in world three actually worked so um i did get lucky but at the same time i still played very well i didn't let up i didn't i didn't really die i think i died one also you can see jablum select at the bottom king poopin p how about that guys you like that rom hack king poopin p it doesn't get any better than that there's no better name than that rom hack good old jabum selects yeah those races were absolutely incredible so thanks a lot guys thanks for watching um see you later youtube Woo.